They fight for our country only to return home and fight for a job. Well, not anymore. This morning, meet a veteran who is vowing to help his fellow heroes go from deployed to employed. Well, up next, veterans returning home from the battlefield have a new fight, finding a job. You see, the unemployment rate amongst post 9-11 vets, those serving in Iraq and Afghanistan and during that era, is 6.7 percent, even higher than the national unemployment rate of 5.3. Army veteran Jerry Flanagan is fighting to change that, knowing how hard it was for him to transition from military to civilian life. He built a national junk removal company that franchises exclusively to vets, current troops and their families. You want to know more? Fox Business' Cheryl Cassoni is there for us on the plaza to tell us this story. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, good morning, guys. You know, I wanted to bring you this story this morning because, you know, so many veterans will tell me, look, I, I know that I can find a job that's gotten better. You mentioned the unemployment rate, but it's the right opportunity that these guys are looking for. This opportunity, we think, is amazing. I do want to bring in Jerry Flanagan. You mentioned him a moment ago. You served in the Army, and you said, you know what? Veterans need the right opportunity, and you started this franchise, J-Dog. Tell me about J-Dog. Well, J Dog was started in 2011. My wife and I started the company to build a business that was profitable and that was different than the rest of the community. Basically, we put veterans to work in our community and we haul junk and we also uh, declutter homes. All right, we've got the trucks on set. We want to let everybody know that these are actually the trucks that you use to haul stuff. These trucks are going to show up at my house. That's right. So I can't wait. the community knows we're coming. Uh, they're excited. They know we're going to be on time, respectful, and trustworthy. And that's what we do. And, and Michael O'Neill, you are a Brit, you are an Army veteran, but yourself, you just uh, actually started started with J Dog this year in January. It, yeah. Before though you you did this business though, you were a forensic psychologist and you said you met a lot of veterans that needed again the right opportunity. And that what a transition for you. Well, the transition was very smooth. I was helping vets, uh, you know, get back into their lives. Now we're doing the same thing. We're just giving them jobs, helping them support their family. And you started in January, and you said you just bought another one because it's going so well in the Philadelphia area. I did, yeah. We went full-time in April, and then three months later, I was I already had a re my return on investment, and I put it right back into the company, bought another franchise. And, and Sean Skidder, uh, you're a franchisee in Dallas, Texas. You also just started. You said that you found this opportunity through, a, like, a veterans' fair, basically. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, I went to... Uh, uh, entrepreneurship uh, seminar and hooked up with a franchise advisor and then he's like hey what about this and I was like man this is this is perfect it, it matches I mean the brotherhood of ethos and everything it's, it's great and so what do people say when they see these trucks going down the highway you're in Dallas Texas you might you must get an amazing response in Texas yes uh, kids running down the street it's like a parade it was like <laughs> they just love it you know so hey J dog stop you know so well, Jerry, let's talk about the numbers here. All right, hopefully in the next five years you want to hire about 2,000 veterans. you got to get the word out, but you want veterans specifically for these jobs and for these opportunities. It's military veterans and military family members. It's exclusive. We're the only franchise in the country that offers this opportunity. And right now you're in Pennsylvania, Texas, Florida, Louisiana, South Carolina, Tennessee. Where else do you want to open up? you got a national audience. Let's let people know where this is going to go. Okay, sure. Over the weekend, we committed seven down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And we're actually expanding into Chicago, uh, New Hampshire. It's just every day. The, the leads are coming in. Okay, really quick. Uh, Sean, i got to ask you this. The most random thing you've been asked to haul so far? Um, teeth moles. <laughs> teeth moles? Yes. Oh, my God. All right, Michael, for you? It had to have been a decked in hot tub uh, on top of a house. <laughs> People have random stuff in their homes, and you guys are going to be there for them. You were here for our country, you served us, and now you're helping us out here at home. Guys, great story today. Thank you so much. Thank you. There you go, guys. You know, again, I got to repeat this to you, and I hear this all the time from the veterans that I've gotten to know through these segments the last couple of years. They want the right thing, and they want to have their own business. They want to do something that's meaningful after the meaningful experience of serving our country. And this is a great one. J Dog, guys, you got to try it. Without a doubt. Cheryl Cassoni, thank you for that. Moving hearts, I would add, today for Absolutely. our country. Love and, it. And it, it, great for the bottom line. Vets have the skills necessary to, to, to move that forward. It's a fantastic effort. Right.